Governor Murphy calling New Jersey's current liquor law, license laws, antiquated and confusing during his State of the State speech yesterday. And now he wants to partner with lawmakers for a complete overhaul. News 12 New Jersey's Alex Zidane has that story from Trenton. Expanding the number of available liquor licenses will not only help keep our favorite local restaurants healthy, it will also keep our economy healthy. There could soon be more watering holes in New Jersey and restaurants that can expand beyond BYOB to serve drinks with dinner under a proposed overhaul of the state's liquor license laws proposed by Governor Murphy in Tuesday's State of the State speech. So the opportunity here is enormous for our main streets and communities. In an interview with News 12 after the speech, the governor said lawmakers will have to put together a bill to send to his desk. It's not going to be easy because you've got, not surprisingly, you've got opposite interests, which is why the state has to play a role sort of, uh, I wouldn't say as a mediator, but as a active player between the rightful interest. Towns oversee their own liquor license regulations and every municipality is capped at issuing just one liquor license for every 3,000 residents. The governor's plan would gradually ease up on that restriction, allowing towns to eventually issue more liquor licenses, meaning more bars and restaurants could soon be coming to a downtown near you. In a statement, the president of the New Jersey Restaurant and Hospitality Association said those new laws might hurt those who already have liquor licenses, saying adding more licenses to the marketplace will have a negative impact on these small businesses that have contributed so much to their communities over the years. The governor also wants new rules and relaxed restrictions on the state's craft breweries, wineries, and distilleries so they can serve food at tastings and host more events. In Trenton, Alex Sedan, News 12, New Jersey.